Hi guys, welcome back to the Player YouTube channel. You join me today with yet another car that we're going to do a review on. The Fiat 500 Hybrid. Yay! What a little car. Let's take a look at this car. Let's get underneath it. Let's get around it. Let's get it out on the road. Give you our evaluation of this new car from Fiat. So under the bonnet, you get a one litre three cylinder petrol engine that develops around about 70 brake horsepower. And that is matched up to a six speed manual gearbox. That's the only choice that you get in this car nowadays. Back in the day, there was a 1.2 litre that struggled to get up hills. Then there was a twin air thingy going on and that was just so uneconomical, but great fun to drive. Had a couple of diesels. Well, the diesel came in, went out, came in and then went out again. But finally they've settled on this little one cylinder, one cylinder, three cylinder, one liter engine. It's matched up to an 11 amp lithium battery. And it's not like a hybrid as we probably expect a hybrid to be. So first of all, there's no battery only driving in it. So you don't get into town under 30 miles an hour and suddenly you're in battery power. That doesn't happen with this. Um, you don't have to plug it in either because it's self charging. So they always keep it topped up and charged. But what it does do, it helps the economy on this car. This car gets around about 54, 55 miles to the gallon. So with the, with the six speed manual gearbox, the small literage on this car and the small value of the insurance on this car, it's made it very popular amongst young teenagers, especially young female teenagers here in the UK. So I've affectionately named this the DLGC because it is daddy's little girl's car. It's absolutely perfect. It's low on insurance, it's great on mileage, and it will do 0 to 60 in about 14 seconds. So it's slow as well, which is an ideal first car to own. Makes it popular. But what about the rest of it? Is there enough space in the back to get some passengers or even load in a couple of bags? Let's go and have a look. Round at the back, still looks really cute, doesn't it? Comes with a little wash wipe there. You've got your DAB aerial up the top there. A bit of aero going on here. Nice bit of chrome here with a 500 badge. I like that. And you've got your little exhaust down here as well. All in all, it's really nice. There's no electronically assisted boot on this, but it's very light. You, you know, good shock absorber, shock absorber. Good struts on here, like a good strut. There you go. Reasonable size, and I'll show you how reasonable because here is one of the crew's bags. We're going to put that in there. Look at that. So you get at least one either side and at least another two on top of that. And that's a reasonable size bag. So I'm quite impressed with that. I'm going to move it out of the way because I want to show you inside. Um, first of all, the world's smallest parcel shelf. Yes. What is the point in that? I'm trying to work it out. We've all had a look at this and none of us can work it out. So to be honest, you know, save your money get some another one right here we go in the back here you get there is room in here to put a space saver now you know what I think about these things look at them this is a puncture repair outfit that is the gluey gunky stuff that you pour into the tire when you've got a puncture and that is the pump you use to pump it up which plugs into the 12 volt adapter Throw these away, manufacturers, please give us spare wheels. They're so much better. You know, the fact is they don't work. These do not work. And no matter what you tell me, I have had first-hand experience with these on a number of occasions. And each time I've had to call out the recovery service to come and get me. Because once you get something wrong with the wheel, you can't pump a wheel up. The wheel's damaged, the tire's damaged on the side or something like that, forget it. Space savers that's the way forward and needs to be urgently. Good thing about this car, apart from you have to dislocate your wrist to get there, there is a catch round here that you can push and it will allow you to push the seats down and you almost double your load space here. I'm going to try it over here with this one. It's a bit easier with that one because you can get your hand round it. You have to put the headrests down as well. But look at that. That's a decent size you've got in there. I was really shocked at this. Okay, it, there's a big lip here. You know, it's going to be difficult and the, this is going to get scratched up. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be used that often, apart from that trip down to the airport where you need a very, very large suitcase, obviously, and a couple of vanity cases, obviously. So all in all, what a great area. I was really impressed with that. Let's see if it's as impressive for the passengers in the back. So we'll whip these seats up. I'm going to go around and we'll have a look how, how big it is for the passengers. Right, let's see what it's like for passengers in this car. First of all, check out this interior. Isn't it lovely? It's 
plenty of choices on this, but I do like this material. I think it's really cool. Um, it's just a simple click here and you make sure that the uh, headrest is slightly down. The seat will actually slide forward like that. There's a nice big gap in to, for you to get in and out if you are going to jump in the back of this car. So you can literally just go straight in like that. There's plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, not a lot on the height because I've already hit my head on it. But there again, you're not going to be going long distances in this car. This is like get down to the local restaurant or the bar or whatever, and then it's piling in here. There's probably about six people in the back here all squished in. And it, but that's the fun of this car. It's a fun car. You do get a little arm rest there. So if you have got to go more than three miles, you can rest your arm on there, especially if you've had a few drinks, something like that. Um, on a serious note, it is great for kids in the back here because you've got the isofix points and you've got recessed seat belts as well. So that's all nice for squidging about, moving around. The only thing is you don't have any USB ports in the back here to plug gizmos in and charge them up. There are a couple of cup holders, which is more of a sort of token gesture, I think. It's very light and airy, thanks to this big sunroof with the, uh, looks like a, one of those uh, mosquito nets that they've used over it. But nevertheless, you know, you can pull it right back. Like, well, there you go. You have to release it. There's a little clip there, but I managed to do it in the end. Look at that. Massive, great sunroof. Airy, light, fun, funky. Let's get in the front, see what it's like for the driver. Okay, let's check it out for the driver. And the first thing is, how comfortable is this seat? It's lovely. And it's got bags of adjustment on it as well. It's a manual setting. There's no electronic seats in this. But you've got this little pump thing here, which is really good. You can pull it back and it actually raises and lowers the actual tilt on the lower part of the seat, which I find really nice because you can get a great driving position. Um, speaking of driving positions, not a lot of adjustment when it comes to the steering on this. Basically, it goes up and down and there's no in or out, so <laughs> it's just up or down and not a lot of lateral movement at all. So there you go. Unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. I don't think you need a lot of movement in this car because it is what it is, it's where it sits. Um, it isn't a keyless ignition on this. You've got to flip your key open. So I'm gonna put it in now before we start explaining a few bits and pieces. I'm gonna pull this door to. It's a very big, heavy door, but quite easy to grab hold of. Massive, great windows as well. So there's plenty of all round vision on this car, which is really nice. And I love all the finish on it as well. It's very retro. Um, let's start over here on the right hand side. So we've got the windscreen wiper stalk over here. So obviously you can set that up so it does your windscreen wipers. Oh, doors decided to automatically close itself. Um, on the right hand side here, you've got your telephone system. Um, and basically you can answer your phone and um, disconnect your phone. It's as easy as that. Uh, the good thing about this car, it comes with the Apple Play. So when you're plugged in, you can run all your Apple Play up on your screen. It's got a seven inch touch screen up there and it's also got Android mirroring as well. Even better. So it doesn't matter whether you've got your Samsung or your Apple or whatever you're using, it's all going to work in this car, but that's what it's designed to do. Um, you've got your station changer here, so you can move your when you're in your DAB radio, and it'll also change the tracks when you're running your Bluetooth or your Apple Play or whatever you've tuned into. On the left here is your volume, up and down, and then you've got a complete um, sort of muffle button there, which stops all the sound and everything. And then down below it, you've got what I call the Hey Siri button, because that is when you want to ask it a question or tell it what to do, you push that little button and it acts like your Siri or your, you know, Alexa or whatever you've got, whatever you use. And it's here on the car. Very nice indeed. Um, there you go, little hooter. I like that as well. Very Italian. La, da, da. It's got that la la la. Superb, I love it. Um, very basic heating controls, but there again, that's all you need. It's got its aircon built in, which is great. Um, and to be honest, what more can I say? There's a load of nice dials and they all work very easily. No knobs. There is two little knobs up here. Only two in this car. Don't you get cheeky on me there. Um, on the right here, this is your button for your front fog lights and your rear fog lights. And on the left here, this is your city driving mode. Basically, all that does, it just lightens up the steering wheel a little bit. So it just makes it easier around town for parking and manoeuvring. 
very nice little gadget that I like that as I said seven inch touchscreen up here you've got everything you need on this car there's um, there's no sat nav with this particular car but there again once you've connected up with your Apple Play you can go straight in and use your Waze or your Google Maps so easy don't need sat nav these days windows uppy downies here right in the center don't do what I did where I'm looking over here and one of the crew said no they're in the middle they're in the middle Manual gearbox, six speed, very nice. Yet again, I like the position of that as well. The whole driving position, everything on this car is really good. Um, down in the centre here, where you've got a 12 volt adapter over there, then you've got a double, I'm going to say cup holder. It's not a cup holder, it's an energy drink holder. That's about it. It's quite small. And behind it, you've got a USB charging port adapter. Great. A manual handbrake. We love that. And yeah, just generally all around really nice little comfortable seat glove box over here come on manufacturers get rid of these waste of money you know what if you got rid of that and you got rid of that stupid parcel shelf you could have put manufacturers this some point in that could have put the space saver in there and not charge us any more money and you wouldn't have to take up any more room in the glove box which would be a lot more spacious to put all your bits and bobbies in there you go simple as in the center of the dash here you've got a, a manual a sort of um, analog as i call it dashboard uh, but in the center it's digital and that gives you your readout it can give you your your range your average mileage and all that all those bits and pieces are all in that center section you do also get is hidden i must admit i couldn't even see it here but hidden down here is a cruise control so when you do get out of the city and you get out onto a motorway, you can quite easily set that. Once you know how to use it, you don't have to add a look at it. But unfortunately, if you were, you'd have to turn it like that to see how to set it. And by now, we'd have probably gone through three fields. So, But it is there and it is usable. So that's the main thing. Guys, all we need to do is get this car out on the road because it is a lot of fun to drive. So let's go do that. So here we are guys, we're out in the Fiat 500 hybrid and look, I cannot stop smiling when I drive with this car. It's the noise of that little exhaust as well, it's just so super cool. People actually sort of spin around in the street when you go past. Um, another good thing about this car is the, the retro styling of it and the, the ease of use of everything. It's just so simple, it was almost as if it was designed, yeah. I think you know where I was going to go with that then. Anyway, let's get away from that. The fact that it's a DLGC, that's a daddy's little girl's car, is neither here nor there. I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, you could buy one of these for about 11,500 UK pounds. And the finance on one, and you can see why this is becoming so popular, finance is less than 170 UK pounds a month. I mean, that's completely crazy. To get a little car like this buzzing around, um, with this, this mild hybrid technology as well. So you're getting, I'm getting 57 to the gallon around town. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I thought this battery idea was, to be honest, I just thought it was a bit of a joke. I thought it was something, you know, just to entice you to come and buy the car. But it isn't. It really works. It's great on the brakes. It's responsive. It's much quicker on the stop start. You know, the, there's the auto stall button when you get into traffic or at the traffic lights or when you stop. It's so quick starting again. It's, it's fantastic. Um, I've had so much fun driving around in this car. It really has. There is only one thing because obviously it is a DLGC. Um, other drivers, especially uh, older men, tend to think that when they pull up next year, there's going to be a young girl driving it. And then they spot me. The disappointment on their faces is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, so all I can say is, yeah, it's, it definitely is very popular with the ladies, with the young girlies. But a guy driving about in this, you can have a lot of fun. And this thing, you listen, it, it goes. <laughs> it really goes. And it wants you... It's so Italian. It really, really wants you to push it. And, uh, you know, the more you give it revs like that, the more it goes, I love it. <laughs> it's like an Italian opera singer. It just wants to love. It just really wants to go. Um, it's got a great all-round vision. There aren't that many safety aids. There's no blind spot mirrors. There's no, you know, there is parking or beepers on this. There's no parking camera but I'm sure you can get them if you want to add it to it. But I mean, for the money, really, come on, guys. I mean, it's, you know, it is a superb piece of kit. And comfort-wise, now that's something I have noticed. 
It's so comfortable. <laughs> it's beyond belief. Uh, these seats are really, really well bolstered. And they're so, once you get it in a position, my only little thing I will say about this car, this driving position, you do feel like you're driving it up here. Your arms are right up in the air for some reason. But I can forgive it that. I really can forgive it that. I love the little dashboard on here, little instrument cluster. I love the little touchscreen. I don't need sat nav, as I said, when we were doing the sitting, you know, the talk about up front. I've got my Waze plugged in. I've got my Apple CarPlay. The sound in here as well, on the, of, the, of the DAB radio, and when you've got your tunes playing through here, incredible. And look at the light, and you know, it's, it really is. I'm, I'm shocked, I'm really shocked, guys. I wasn't expecting this. I wanted to dislike this car. The reason is, I'm a big Mini fan, and always have been. Right from day one, my very first car was a Mini 850. I remember when I bought it, it was just so special to me. And then BMW got hold of the Mini and they started to change things. And it's such a shame when you look at some of the, the latest Clubman, for example. But Fiat, when they talk 500s, when this car was brought into existence, they've nailed the essence of the little Super Mini. And that's what this car is. It is the direct competition to a Mini. And I think it's better, I've got to say. It's a lot better. Um, I haven't done a proper review on a Mini yet. I'd like to. So BMW, if you're watching, don't forget, I'd love a crack at a, at a Mini. If you reckon your Mini is better than this, then, you know, bring it on. Let's take one out. Because I can't believe that anything in the Super Mini category is going to keep up with this. I'm a big fan of the Art Bath, which is the super steroid version of this. Um, click up there now if you want to meet, see me take an Art Bath round Brands Hatch circuit and, and nail it with a load of Ferraris. <laughs> it was just a fantastic afternoon. Do that, click up there, have a look at that video, you'll love it. There's a couple of other YouTubers up there as well. Speaking of YouTubers, guys, you've been watching me, AJ the Player, thanks for watching. I'm very enthusiastic about this car, I hope you've enjoyed the review of the car. Um, and don't forget, you know, we're not just a one trick pony. We don't just do car reviews on YouTube, we're part of the player. And here's something for you. This is where you start to, when you watch this, because you're going to get something for free at the end of it. So the player is a magazine. It's a bookazine. It comes out every three months. It's a hardback book. And it's specifically designed for guys. And the idea being that there's cars in there, there's boats, there's, there's a beer, there's wine, there's food, there's holidays, there's golf. There's everything that us guys absolutely love. Um, and I defy any of you not to find something in that magazine, that bookazine, that you don't like reading about or looking at the fantastic images. So it's called The Player, The Player Bookazine. You can have it for free, not the actual book. You can, at, you can have the online version for nothing. It's a 200 page bookazine. You get it for nothing. You, all you've got to do, go, go here, www.theplayer.co.uk. There it goes, it's coming up now. Just go there, no data capture. Come on, do I look like a data capture? No. Just your name and your, and your email, just so you can download it or if you want to view it online. you just got to simply subscribe to it. It's so, so easy. Go do that, enjoy it. It's free, it's on me, because you watch me on YouTube. Enjoy it, guys. It's, it's a great, great bit of reading, and I do say so myself. Um, as I said, you've been watching me, AJ the Player. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment, because if you want to know anything about the cars that we review, just stick it in the comment box, and I will get round to answering it. So don't think I'm just going to ignore you. I will get, get to you in due course, because we do get a lot of comments. Um, thumbs up, guys. Give me a thumbs up, because basically, we don't get a bonus. I don't get paid anymore, but what I do get is I get a pat on the back from the guys in the office, from the bosses and the sponsors to say, job well done, you've had 20, 30s, thumbs up, likes or whatever. So I appreciate it if you could do that. Thank you very much indeed. And subscribe, why not? You know, you're gonna see more of these. We do sometimes two, even three of these reviews every week. And they're not just cars, they're boats and they're all sorts of different things. Interviews, loads of them. Check out the channel, AJ the Player. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next week with something, who knows? Check back or leave the bell sign unchecked and you'll get an update to let you know there's a video that's been put up. Catch you next week. Safe driving and above all, enjoy your life. Oh, one more thing. Here we go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>